Sensei Don is back with Hanu, my cookie. Lesson seven, our stretch for the day is a hamstring stretch and it's a very effective one. I really like this one. So you sit like this, bring the one leg, touch the knee, take the other leg over towards the knee, take the hand closest to the knee, grab it, push down. And you will feel it stretching in the hamstring and a little bit in the hip. Right, remember 15 counts. So the other side, bend your knee over, hand closest, grab it, push down, and keep your balance. 15 counts. And your hamstring will be nice and stretched. Thank you. Right, our exercise for the day is that we're going to do another type of a sit-up. Some people will call it crossovers, other people know it better as bicycle sit-ups. Very easy, you lie on your back, hand behind your head, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and our game for the day is crossing the river. Now Hanu has got a lot of spring in his legs, so he's going to show you much better than what I can do, but basically it works as follows. If we take a mat, we stand on this side, and we jump to the other side, and we have to turn. And this is a very important exercise for judo, because this is what we do in judo, we turn. Right, so it looks like that. There, and back. And again, see where he's jumping towards. Okay, and see how far he can jump. And up. Right, and we can have a little competition to see who can jump the furthest. And I think today I'm going to the champion. Thank you. Our vocabulary for today, lesson seven, is leg or foot which is called ashi, leg or foot is ashi, our knee is called giza, giza, and our side is called yoka, so it's like this, ashi, giza, yoka, thank you. This is lesson 7 for the white, yellow, orange belts, today we do revision on all the kiza Katomis and remember variations are called Kuzuri Keza. Right, and each Kuzuri has got an own name except for one is only known as Kuzuri. Let's go through this. Right, so the first one that we do is Keza Katomi. Classic Keza Katomi. And the natural outflow from here is Ura Keza Katomi. Backwards Keza Katomi. Right, then we go back. Take the hand, put it over the eye, grab my hands there, my leg pushes his arm, stand on my leg in his side, push out my leg, and that is called Kata Betami. Then we go back to Keza Betami, and then we go to the classic Kuzuri Keza Betami, which doesn't have another name. This is known as Kuzuri Keza Betami. From here we can go to the Pillow hold, Makura Kezagatami, hand around the neck, lift him up, and there we've got Makura Kezagatami. Right, and then the only odd one is Ushiro Kezagatami, the reverse, put the hand down, climb over it, and put the arm over my body, grab the leg, some people will grab there, that's also Ushiro Keza. Probably more known, and this is also Shira Kezakatami. This is the reverse or the backwards Ushiro Kezakatami. Ushiro from behind. Right, thank you. Our new hold down for today with the white, yellow, orange belts is called Mune Gatami. Mune means chest. I call it the Mampara hold down because any Mampara can do this hold down, it's so easy. Right, so Anu lies on his back. Like an aeroplane, I sit next to him, 
and there's two variations. The most, the easiest one is there, and my chest on his chest. It actually means chest hold, Mune's chest, and my other hand goes around his neck. That's the second one, or the kuzuri, if you want to call it like that. So let's see again. There is the easy Munegatomi chest hold. Remember, chest on chest. And there's the variation of the chest hold. So you can call this one Kazuri Munegatome if you want. Right, thank you. Our technique for today with the green belts and higher is called Sankaku. You remember Sankaku means triangle. Jime means triangulation. So it's a triangular strangulation. So I'm lying on my back, hundreds between my legs. And he's going to try and lift up my leg to get around to escape. I get my leg in nice and deep. Look at in there. There's the triangle. Can you see it? And by pushing my legs together, the strangulation is on. Very easy. Let's show again. So we're there. He lifts up my leg. I pull him in nice and deep. Get my leg behind my knee, which is difficult. And knees together. And there's Saka Sangaku Jime. Go and practice now. Thank you very much.